Nyaho! My name is Shoyu Hikaru, and this video is about you. If I am right, you should be at least remotely interested in the new Hololive EN edition. So, what this video is all about? I will give you every tip and strategy that I'm aware of for helping you with the Hololive edition. Some of this advice can even be applied to other auditions. I'm doing that because I want to make people happy. This includes you. A quick disclaimer before we move on. Even if I made a lot of research, this is a rapidly moving environment. And I made a lot of educated guesses. With this many, it's safe to assume that at least one of them will be false. Not because I want to, but because it will be pretentious to assume that I've got every single thing right. We're good. Okay, let's get started. The first advice is a, it's a pretty simple one. Hololive requires you to upload a 5 minute video unlisted. Upload that video twice. Once for Hololive. And once for the very selected few friends that you want to share that video with. Trust me. You will want to share this video at some point. So um, upload it twice so you will be able to track properly the number of views on your first videos. The second advice might look dumb, but hear me out. Please read all the questions. Once you read them, read them again. I don't want you to fail just because you answer improperly to one question. And trust me. This thing happens all the time, and this advice apply to your answer too. Please check them before pressing the submit button. And for the third advice, there is a six week window to turn in your application. What does that mean? It means that you've got this time for planning, reviewing, experimenting, and doing everything that you want to do in your application. Even if you can technically answer everything in less than an hour, use this time to make your application better. Don't turn in your application just now. Don't wait the last second to turn in your application. Use the time that you got to make your application better. Onward with the fourth advice. This is basically a job application. You have to consider everything that you answer like if you are in a job application, especially in the later stage. And there is some question that you have to keep in mind when you are getting an answer. Those questions are, what is Hololive? What is Holostar? What is Hololive production? What is Cover Corps? What is Hololive EN? How each of these entities interact with each other? What is the goal of each entity? Who are you applying for? The next advice is directly related to Niji Senji Audition, but I'm pretty sure it can be generalized with all live Audition. With Niji Senji Audition, we made a wrong assumption. We made the assumption that they will watch every video of every applicant and every single minute of it. And it doesn't make sense. Let me give you an example. If you are under 18, they can't hire you no matter what, because it's, it's a legal issue, basically. So what does that mean? It does mean that there is a few questions that are probably computer filtered that if you don't answer them properly, it will not make no sense to continue the audition. For example, if you can't speak English, it will make no sense to continue the audition. So it's kind of safe to assume that there is some kind of first filter. Then what would be the next filter? And that is a lot of assumption. I think and what I mean by that is that there is a lot of uh, assumption in the next sentence, but I think that the order of the filter would be something on those lines. The pitfall question, so the legal one, if you speak English, and the stuff that doesn't make sense to, for you to audition in the first place. Then that would be the question, if you are a good fit to the company or not. If they think that you are not a good fit, they will not continue the audition. Then probably the first few seconds of your video, because if there is background noise or stuff like that, they will probably stop your audition right now. Then, all of your video, 
and then probably they will scoot a bit on the social media to see who you are. I know, I know, that's a lot of assumption, and I could be wrong, but that's what I think nonetheless, and I'm pretty sure I'm not that far for them from the truth. And if I'm not wrong, it would mean that you might want to spend a bit more time with the question, actually. Well, you survived the first five advice. Let's see the next one. This one, it's one of the hardest one. Your video need to contain a hook because your video will be reviewed by a human and that human have a limited attention span and you have to review something like 10,000 applications. So you want to make sure that your video is entertaining. And for that, you need a hook. I will never stress that enough. The one reviewing the, your application in the end will be human. And they will have probably a lot, a lot of them to watch. So make sure they spend a great day. You know, with kind words like, Yahoo, hello, thanks you, thank you very much. Those kind of nice words, you know, they can help them feel great, feel better, and have a nice day. If you can make a small joke while getting professional, but if you can make a small joke and make them laugh a bit, they will spend a great day. And if they spend a great day, there is a higher chance for you to get the job. It's not a cheap trick when it comes to make people happy. But in the end, your job will require that. And for the advice number eight, you don't want to have your greatest asset undermined by a poor quality. Your greatest asset on this audition is probably your voice. It's so important for all alive that a video is not even required. You can have only audio and it's fine for them too. The question is more how to get a good audio quality when I don't have a lot of money. And there is actually a solution for that. There is a lot of filter that you can apply to a video to clean up um, white noise, to make sure that your voice is properly equalized, to make sure that your voice is properly compressed or expand. The good news is, you can find this tool for free on the internet, and there is a lot of tutorial on YouTube for how to use them. So clean your audio with the six weeks time, it's kind of expected to, for you to have at least a good audio quality. And for the last advice of this video, make your own research. And this is only a short video of someone who didn't have make it to the second phase of Niji Senji audition. So in the end, try to find successful people talking about their audition and how they think they've succeeded. Even if I could continue talking about audition for days, I have to stop here. Thank you so much for watching. And before you go, I want to tell you one last thing. Believe in yourself. Why? Because I believe in you. You've made this tiny baby step of things through the entirety of this video because you want to get closer to your dreams. And trust me, a lot of people already forfeit. So I believe in you. As long as you're making steps towards your dream, even if they are very small, you will get there at some point. So just believe in yourself. I'm watching for your next step. Ikaru, out.